So how it is important and when to do this step? Can I ask for please, someone? So why do we need distressing? Yes. So end of the is long, we, we have short, short rail panels, then we bend them, so these joints we bend and pick them long welded rails. From short rails we make long welded rails. So, why do we provide the splitted joints? The splitted joints have gaps. They are around for expansion and contraction. So, expansion and contraction, when we weld, this expansion and contract contraction is stopped. Come, come. So, this expansion and contraction is stopped. As a result, there is a built up of stresses. When you stop somebody from expanding or contracting, or then you have stress. So at what time, what temperature did you weld? So for long welded rails, say this is temperature, say T1, say 45 degrees. T2 say 35 degrees, T3 say 42 degrees. So they are welded at, when we weld, we get the block and then we weld. We don't take a, we don't weld at the same temperature. Do we do this? No, we don't do this. So whenever we get the block, we do the welding. So, say this is the temperature if we plot. This is the temperature. When we plot this, this is the temperature. Then when we plot this, this is the temperature. Say this is 45, this is 35, and this is 42. So, there is a difference in temperature. What will happen? This force, force in the rail will depend upon the temperature. Force in rail will be depending upon temperature. Temperature of rail. So, this force will be different. Here the force will be different, here the force will be different, here the force will be different, say F1, F2 or F3. What they will try is, F1 is more, this will try to push it on this side. This side force is more, this will try to push on this side. And likewise, this side they will push it. So we want to, we can't have this situation where the rail will move. Where and whereas in the central portion of the blower, rail does not move. This we are from. So we need to have a common temperature. Common temperature at which the rail is stress free without any stress. So that there is no variation of force in the long welded rail. 
For that we have to do this. What is called de-stressing. We have to stress or de-stress the relay at particular temperature. So what we do in that, we make the real stress free at say particular temperature say 30, 32 or say whatever you decide, whatever is the temperature decided and that we open the rail and allow it to expand and contract and then fix back the rails. So that is de-stressing. In de-stressing we do equalization of stresses. Equalization of stresses. This is what we do in the de-stressing. So in this chart, in this slide, you can see this is the center portion end of floor. There is a switch expansion joint at the ends, and this portion is called length of total length of end of floor from switch expansion switch expansion joint to other switch expansion. So at switch expansion, we allow the expansion of contraction, expansion and contraction. So what will happen? Say if we do the this, so our force down will be complete here, and say here is the expansion joint. Then at this expansion joint, the force will be zero, and say here is the expansion joint, force is zero. So this is the force diagram. This is breathing length where the rails undergo expansion and contraction, and here there is no expansion and contraction, but the force is equal. This force is equal in the center portion. So alpha here, uh, this force is equal to P A alpha T. Alpha is the expansion coefficient and T is the temperature variation above or below the stress free temperature and D is the modulus of velocity and A is the area of the rail. So we want to achieve this state from this state. Say over the time, say this is the diagram over the time or say start started, this is the diagram, this is not, red is not acceptable, we have to come to this, for that we have to do the discussion. How can we make this rails equal, temperature equal? How can we make the force equal? How can we make the stress equal? 
Try. Hmm? First day. We are in one. And both of us. Why? It does sleep. No, no, no. Not in just a sleeper. Try again. Somewhat more. Remove all the fastenings. Pardon? Remove all the fastenings. This side? Remove all the fastenings. Hmm? Remove all the fastenings. Allow the rails to expand and contract. And then push back the rails. Cut the rails. Cut out too. Because are you, when, how, when, how do you allow to expand and contract? You have to cut. Because this is a long panel, say 4 kilometers, it cannot expand and contract by its own. You need to cut in the appropriate line which you can handle. Okay. So this is the force diagram. As we can see here, this force is A alpha delta T. If the temperature, prevailing temperature of the rail is less than the stress free temperature or the neutral temperature, then forces in the rail is standard in nature. And if the prevailing temperature is more than stress free temperature or the neutral temperature, then it is compressive stresses. As ex excessive compressive st stresses will cause buckling. And excessive tensile stresses will cause tail fracture of the weld failure. So these are the consequences if we don't maintain the proper stress-free temperature of the rails. This is what happens. So, what, what is the distressing? Distressing is to equalize the stresses in the rail at desired level and desired temperature. And this stressing is can be done with or without tensor to secure the stress free condition of the rail at WR or CWR at desired or specified temperature, rail temperature. So we need a temperature at which we can do the distressing. In our case, we have mean temperature between Tm to Tm plus 5. Say temperature is it's varying every day, every time. It is varying temperature. So we have mean temperature. Do we record temperature in the in your railway? Are we recording temperature? Sure. Yeah. Hmm? How do you know? Otherwise, what temperature of the rail is, we don't know. Whether it is having force of compression or of the tension, we will not know. So, we need to record the temperature. So, say this is the zero temperature, uh, say this is the set temperature is mean here. Mean means average of all the temperatures. Correct? Maximum, say T max, say temperature goes max here, T minimum here. So mean is T max. And T minimum. So this is the T max line and this is the T minimum line. Then mean of this will be T mean.
टेम्परेचर में भी मीन टेम्परेचर मैक्सिमम टी मैक्स प्लस टी मिनिमम डिवाइड बाय टू विल बी टी एफ so this stressing is done and this temperature tm plus 5 to tm plus 10 and uh, tm to in this range that uh, this stressing is done tm to tm plus 5 mean so that the stresses are so the stresses are almost equal on both the sides compression as well as tension Slightly on the tensor side because compression is more dangerous compared to tension because buckling is cat catastrophic. If buckling takes place, the train is surely going to derail. That is why the risk of buckling is greater than that of fra fracture. Buckling is. greater than that of fracture so that is why we keep on the higher side above the mean temperature team pf to pf plus 5 i will are you able to appreciate are you able to appreciate पार्टिसिपेट so whatever questions whatever uh, comments you have whatever observations you have this year so that we have lively class is it one way communication is not good so do you appreciate the need for making the stress well stress free or equalization of the stresses do you agree this side agree or not hmm so to make the stress free we have to do equalization of stresses that is called distressing so we will do that we will uh, go into detail <coughs> this tm plus one is true or not yes mean temperature t max minus t t max plus t min more minus Divided by two is T min. So wherever the section is, there the record of temperature. In the summer we get maximum temperature. In the winter we get minimum temperature. So we divide at this two and divide by two we will get T minimum mean.
this way we will have almost equal stresses when the temperature is in the extremes. That is the idea. So, if we keep it low, say if we keep the stress free temperature here low, then we will have what will happen? What will happen? If the stress free temperature is low, what will happen? Nothing. Not no. Uh, compression. Uh, then this much compression will be there. Then compression will be more. So we will have we, we may invite buckling. We may cause conditions for buckling. And if we keep, keep it too high, here we keep high, then we will have tensile stresses. High tensile stresses, they are the chance of fracture. So we have to follow the middle path. So we have to follow the middle path. So middle path is T mean. T mean is the middle path. So neither go in the extreme, remain in the middle. So that is middle path. So we so we keep this stress free temperature. Temperature near the mean so that both are almost equal. Okay. Any question? In uh, low, low temperature, yeah. Straight low, yeah. What we have to do is high temperature, low temperature, low temperature, we will have buckling. No, no, not pressure. Not in not low temperature, not in the No, at low temperature, we will have tensile expression in the range. In my main pressure, there will be fracture. So what is T mean? T mean we do the measurement of temperature. Every section in the area is supposed to keep the record of temperature. And he does the recording by continuous recording type of thermometer. And data is uploaded, updated in track management system, track monitoring system. Maximum and minimum temperature for continuous period of five years is found out and on that basis TM is determined. TM is basically on the basis of five years. TM is five years record. Five years temperature record. Out of this five years temperature, maximum is found out. Maximum and minimum. Then we get T TMS, Tmax minus T plus Tmax minimum divided by 2. So from the record of the continuous <coughs> recording type of thermometer. It is the real temperature, not the ambient temperature. Variation of real temperature is more extreme compared to the ambient temperature. Oh, it is a
If the records of five years are not available, then mean and range of temperature is shown in the map of rail map. We will see that map. So this is the temperature map. So this is the map, say we go down, say, say here, so we have this temperature record in which maximum and the range of temperature. Range of the range and mean of the temperature is given. Say in within the bracket is the mean temperature. So say within the bracket is mean temperature and this is the range of temperature. 40. So this is what is this? Marbakao. Then in Madras, say near 57 and 39. Thirty-nine is the mean temperature. So that mean temperature written in the bracket. So from that we can get the mean temperature, and based on that we can carry out the distressing. If we don't have the record, first choice is the actual record of five years. Fifty-seven is range. Range is T max minus minimum. T max minus T minimum is range. So this is the range. Say T, T max is here. T minimum is here. So this range is what is 40 or say. Say if it is 37 plus this side is the 20 minus this side will be 20, so it will be 17 and 57. So this is T by and T by minimum is 17. That is how we can find out maximum minimum temperature from the range. Correct? Okay. So for this testing, we need to have a mean temperature. Any question? Four 
fourth variation for each degree, each five degree five, five, uh, force variation, there is a force of sixteen point three eight tons for fifty two kg rails and nineteen point three tons for sixty kg rails. So what rails do we have? Sixty kg rails. Hmm? It will be about less than four, about four tons per daily centigrade. for for one range that will be for one range we are talking about two both rails together it is force in the track so where where did you get this yeah it uh a a alpha delta t a namma paakala one degree nalla e Alpha T. From that we can get. So A is seventy. Six point something. Then E E is two point. Ten to power five. And to alpha is one point one one five. One point one five and ten to power minus seven minus five. Then we have temperature whatever you. So one degree. Uh, one nine zero five point six seven kg. Huh? Per centigrade. Per centigrade. You have calculated it. Per centigrade. Okay, we'll see that calculation. So, <clears throat> when do we do this thing? So, when do we do this thing? Hmm? After laying, after welding. Disturbing. Disturbing will come later, but first when we have laid, that is the first step. First step when we have welded the rails. When we have laid the rail and welded, that is that is called laying. After laying, we do the distressing. Then. Abnormal behavior of LWR. When we notice abnormal behavior of LWR, abnormal means what? So what we do must have been told in the inspection that we measure the gap at SEG. This gap we measure with reference to the reference line. We measure the so, when the gap observed at SEJ uh, differs beyond the specified limit. So, there is a specified limit given the manual. If it is, it is more than the specified limits, when we conclude that there is an abnormal behavior of end of life. Differs beyond the specified limit.
then exceeds the maximum design gap of SEJ. So design gap of SEJ is so whatever the design, there are different kind of kind of SEJs coming. So if there it is more than the design gap of SEJ, then also it is considered as abnormal behavior of LWR. When the tip of tongue ring or the corner of the stock ring crosses the reference mark, say so this is the reference mark, say so this is the tongue ring, if this crosses this reference mark, then also it is considered as abnormal behavior. If this stock ring also crosses, then also it is called abnormal behavior. Then also it is abnormal behavior of hand of blood. Another thing is when the creep is more than 20 mm in the central portion of LWR. Say this is LWR. Say here, say this is the center portion. We measure the creep here. So creep is how creep is measured? There is a reference mark. Center portion. There is a response mark and there is a paint mark on the nail, both the nails. So we stretch a nylon cord between the reference marks and measure whether the nail has gone on this side or this side and this side or this side is measured in the, by the steel scale. If this is more than 20 millimeter, then we consider as Abnormal behavior of end of blur. Then what is it? Yes, I will we'll come to that. We'll come to that. <laughs> we'll come to that. Then in such cases, end of blur shall be inspected by assistant engineer. Then it will be inspected by assistant engineer for deficiency of balance. It can be either due to deficiency of balance or it can be due to poor compaction of the consolidation. Compaction is not there or compaction of and consolidation of balance is poor. It can be due to deficiency in fittings. Fittings are less or they don't have to load. They don't hold. Hold the red. Or it can be poor to load, to load of the elastic rail clip. That is pattern clip. Formation trouble can be there. What will happen? Formation trouble is there. Then there is an excessive settlement that weakening of the Top layer. So, because of the settlement, there could be excessive displacement. So, it will this deconsolidate the ballast. So, another could be because people have not followed the procedure for permanent repair to pain fractures. That also could be one of the reasons for a problem behavior of pattern blur. Possibility of defective thermometer used by staff. So after the inspection, deficiency will be made good. So first the diagnosis. So diagnose first what is the reason for abnormal behavior and make good the deficiency. So, whatever the deficiency, first make good the deficiency. Even if situation does not improve, then we go for de stressing. So, I will repeat. If we find abnormal behavior of LWR, 
then we check for these things like deficiency of balance, poor consolidation, deficiency of fittings, poor to load of the elastic rail clip, formation trouble, or the procedure not followed, or possibility of defective. All these we check, and whatever that we we recoup that. And still, if this is continuing, then we go for this. Is it okay? So your question is answered or not? Your question is answered or not? So what we do when yes. we find the abnormal behavior? Then we try to diagnose what is causing the abnormal behavior. So these are the, these are the some of the causes of the abnormal behavior. If we find any of the things there, then we first correct them. If somebody is fever having fever, first correct that fever. Then go for uh, next thing. If the situation does not fit, then we go to a specialist. Then we do something else. So likewise in this also. First we try to find out deficiency out of this. If we uh, make up the deficiency and if things go wrong, nothing is to be done. If it does not improve, then go for distressing. Okay? Then when to the stressing, unusual occurrence that is accident, buckling or the breaches. In accident what we see is a lot of rails are damaged. Then track is disturbed. We restore the track and do the convert back into LWR then do the de-stressing. Similarly in case of buckling There's the high stresses, high thermal force is there due to which time buckles. Then we restore it back and then we do the de-stressing. Similarly, you can the beaches where the bank gets washed away. Beaches. Beaches. So in the rain, there's a flood. The flood causes erosion of the bank or the bank gets washed away. So the track is hanging. So we restore that and after the restoration we do the discussing. Then special maintenance, after special maintenance such as deep screening. What we do, do, do in the distressing, we remove the ballast, clean it and put it back. So entire ballast is cleaned and put it back in whatever the deficiency more balance is put in the track. That is called de-screening. De now we have uh, balance clearing machines which clean the balance. That regrading. What do you understand by regrading? When we change the gradient. So then also called Regrading, then also we have to do the distressing. Major environment of the car also require distressing. Major alignment and level correction also require the distressing. Then lifting and lowering of track. After lifting and lowering of the track, we have to again restore the stresses and do the distressing. Renewal of, when we renew the complete track renewal through sleeper renewal or through fitting renewal. CTR is the complete track renewal. Track renewal. CTR. And then TSR is the through sleeper renewal.
And TFR is the true fasting flavor. So after we do this, we have to do the de-stressing because the track has been disturbed. The sleep fittings or the sleepers and the track complete track, both the sleepers and the rails and fastenings have been removed, then also we have to do the distress. Breath rehabilitation, after we carried out breath relation, then also we have to do the distress. Formation rehabilitation, when we do something for the formation, rehabilitate the short and bad formation, then also we have to do the Discussing if the number of rail is press, rail replacement exceeds three. So in one kilometer, if we replace three three rails or three times rail, then again we have to carry out the discuss. Yeah, yeah. This thing can be done after special meetings. Yeah, this needs to be. Yeah. Regarding regarding how to do it. <laughs> this is the gradient. Say here it is one in two hundred. One in three hundred, say so one in one fifty, one in one fifty gradient. So there may be some requirements that this grade is maybe chase, maybe made flatter. So this we make it one in two hundred. So we make it one in say three hundred. Keep it like this. And here it, we make it 1 in 250. So for this we require, this is called degrading. We have changed the grades. We have changed those gradients. So that is regrading. So then lot of lifting of track is done. Yeah. Lifting of track is done. Putting the uh, uh, Putting uh, lifting of track. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hmm? Uh, dry soil. Deep. High temperature. No, no, not at high temperature. We have to do the temperature dis temporary distressing. Then only we can do. For carrying out that work, we have to do it. If the temperature goes beyond Td plus 10, Mm. Then we have to do the temporary temporary distressing. Temporary distressing that T max minus 10. T max is the expected maximum temperature. It is not that maximum. When we are doing work at that time, what is the temperature, maximum temperature expected? Minus 10 degree we do the distressing. Do carry out the degrading work. Again, do the distance. Major realignment means, say, do the realignment, say, this is the curve one there. Now we rest, do the alignment. This is the shifting required. So we have shifted the curve. That means we change the length of the rail. So again, for that, we have to do the distance. Of course, no, we have to understand it. Yes, a lot of work is there. A lot of work is there. Yes. Uh -huh. A lot of work is there. Sometimes, some, 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 sometimes there is not enough, to, enough space. Then we have to do the cess work also. Widen the cess work. Yes. So then, the number of prayer which we have found is less than three. Yes. Six 
They love me. No, 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 no. If, if these things have not been done, then. Say we keep on repairing, uh, replacing the rays. So every replacement causes some disturbance in the rate temperature. So after you do three replacement in one kilometer length, then you have to do the displacement. Yes. I will come to that. I will tell you this. Uh, we will have break for tea. Then after that we will discuss how to. Infections taking place here. We have to ensure that there is no addition or subtraction of rays. Are you going to see? So, what we do? Say we have to replace the structure that has taken place, we have to replace with the rail. So, what should be the length of the rail? <laughs> so, say we measure this x, we measure this y, this length should be x plus y minus 25. In fact, 2 into 24, 2 into 25 into 2, 50. So, two weights will be there, no? Two weights will be there when you replace the rail, we have to do the bending again. So, you have to replace. So, this length of the rail, so this is, so we cut here, we cut here, and put the rail back, and length of this rail will be x plus y minus 50. Okay. We put, so, when we put, Yes, yes. This will be the new length. So we, if we make cut here, we require to make cut here. To replace uh, the fracture rail, we have to cut. So if we cut x here, y here, then replace rail to be replaced with x plus y minus. Cut. Put the rail. But, say temperature is, you don't know, say D, this is the distressing temperature, TD is the distressing temperature. <laughs> but we, when we are replacing, we are not sure that, it, we, we cannot be that accurate if we put in the distressing temperature. So the procedure is that, we put this rail x plus y minus 50 bend this rail will create a gap of 25 millimeter by adjusting the rail and weld <coughs> when the temperature is prevailing temperature is less than displacing temperature <coughs> then put the tensor pull the rail and create the gap of 25 millimeter, then do the windings. There is no other method by which we can do the replace, replacement on without changing the stress-free temperature. Otherwise, we will be adding, either we will be adding the rails or we are subtracting the rails. Are you able to appreciate this side? Mm. What is this? Hmm? I will come to that. We'll come to that. Okay, we'll come to that. But this is the how we can do. Yeah. Can we do the distressing for processing curves in curve locations? Distressing. Yes. Distressing process can be conduct conduct with the 
बोथ कैंसर एक बार ऐसा स्टेट ट्रैक को यस यस बोथ बोथ एक ऐसे बिल्डर कंटिन्यूअसली नो कर वैसे बिल्डर सो वी विल कम टू दे फाइटिंग इस ट्रेन स्टेडी गेस हाउ फाइटिंग द रेल स्टेडी गेस फाइल्स या यस व्हेन द टेम्परेचर इन जस्ट स्टार्स आफ्टर यू कैन से வாயில்ல <laughs> <laughs> டிஸ்ட்ரஸ் பண்றதுக்காவா ஜாயின் பண்ணா சொல்லு வெல்டிங் ஜாயின் பண்ணா சொல்லு 25 நிமிஷம் கேப் பண்ணிட்டு தர வெல்டிங் ஜாயின் பண்ணு ஓ அது சரி இப்போ டேட் டைம் டிஸ்ட்ரஸ்டிங் பண்றது புரியல தெரிஞ்சு சொல்லிக் கொண்டீங்க ஏன் இவன் அது பண்ணதே இல்ல ஆனா அந்த 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 ஆனா அந்த
move the ends move the ends like this so that they are free to expand and contract It depends upon the manageable length, depends upon the availability of block and the lever. The persons who are doing it. Then remove the impediments to free movement. So what are those impediments? We provide anchors, we provide guardrails, we provide check rails. So those we have to remove in advance. So one or two days before the program of business. <coughs> then one, one kilometer is three. After that, next another kilometer. Yes. Daily, continuously we are doing. Yes. Then we are, we are now taking, after that we are now taking the CP. Value, sir. Move, Yes. Move, move, yes. CP. 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 We are always taking. Yes. Yes. We are supposed to take every 500 meters. In the center portion. Center portion. Breathing area. Breathing area is about 50 meters. So, breathing area of this and this. So, here we have to check the gap. Here we have to check the screen. Uh, So there are three posters at the center portion and the bigger of breathing there and then gap. We went on Satara station and to six to the Satara station. We went we went we went last we can see hanging and all that. Then that's in charge of says one kilometer or two. Yes. The five kilometers. Sorry, one CB is recording one kilo one meter one kilometer. Okay. But it's all, it's, one kilometer has become too much, yes. too long, but the recommended is five hundred meters. Two times in a one thing. Yeah. Okay. So what we do is remove the impediments. So whatever the Restraining the movement of the rail, those we remove one day in advance. So, how we do this? We, we make the rail free. So, de stressing is at say particular temperature, de stressing temperature. At this temperature, we make the rail free. Allow it to expand and then fix it back. This is the procedure for uh, distressing. So how we do this? So when the block is arranged, so block should be arranged when the temperature, range temperature is within the range of TD. That is TN2, TM plus 5, TM plus 10. Sorry, TM plus 5. In this temperature range should be there when we are doing distressing. Why do you require? Because we have decided that we will do discussing at this temperature. So at this temperature we make the rail free. So how we make the rail free? So before that we impose a restriction of 30 km kilometer per hour. Then remove the or the loose of the alternate fastenings of the slippers. Then cut the rail ends and move them sideways, how sideways? This is how one end the side and one end the side. So that they, have, they can expand freely. So that we can they can expand freely.
adjust the gap of uh, SEG. If it is there, here in this case, SEG will not be there. Then, gap at SEG is provided 40. Remaining, remove the remaining fastenings and lift the rail on the rollers. <coughs> so these are the rollers. So put inside this slipper uh, over the slipper on the pad with the, between the rail and the rubber pad. So this will allow, or we can put this roller also. On the balance, we put it. And then put the lift the rail and put it on these rollers. Hmm? Then check the rail with this wooden mallet. This is the one the handle is small, but there when we use the rail, right, the handle is big. So that person who can simply by standing hammer, hammer the rail. This is wooden. Yeah. Two rails. Two rails. So that it is shaken and then rail can whatever the wherever it is stuck, it can move. So this is also done from center to and to the center. So this will be reached to the center. After lifting the rail and shaking the rail with the wooden mallet. Stamping the rail with the wooden mallet. Now, now we have rail in this place. So when we are putting in the rollers, it can lower the temperature. The starting temperature, then we start putting back, putting the back to a passing side. So we have put this rail on the rollers. Now from the center towards the end. We start the passing, remove this roller. Remove the rollers, one by one. Put the rail back on the sleeper and fasten the rail. This is start temperature we know. We know down the temperature when we start fixing the rail. <laughs> then this process continues and the rail that all the rollers are removed. And rail is put back on the now we move the temperature finish. So this pressing temperature will be TS plus TN upon 2. Mean temperature when we start the passing action, when we complete the pump. Because the temperature is continuously changing. Correct? So in this process we complete this distressing of rail and say we want to do the distressing of further stretch, say tomorrow we want to do it. Then we don't wait. Then we don't wait. If we are doing only for this portion, then we create a gap of 25 millimeter 
and do the right. If only one kilometer we are doing that. If we are continuing, then we don't bend. Next day we come and then we bend. At this, this person can do that. I don't have a question. By this method, we free the rain. Allow it to expand and contract and put it back on the sleepers and do the welding if we have to do only one day of Yes. If we are con continuing the work, we don't weld that yes, one day. Well. Uh, Next day we will complete, say that's when we complete this, then we weld. Then during the night, the temperature becomes... We, we put the clamp, clamp. Oh, okay. We don't, uh, we put the clamps, clamps. If it is expanded, then we have to, then we have to cut. Cut and put it back. Initially, this starting this to do. After rain, after one kilometer, then we have to remove uh, uh, two centimeters, three centimeters. Uh, so it is uh, it and that time we don't go. When we are allowed to explain in contrast, then we create the gap. Then we have to bend the gap, then we create. Previously, doing it is not fine. Only cut. Only cut. Then there will be expansion and contraction. So your whatever gap you have provided will go. It will not remain less. So when you want to do the welding, then you create the gap. Of some Say if you want to do only this welding, then you create the gap of 25 millimeter again. What's the matter? Say joints yeah, gap is yeah, very close. Yeah. You know, see, yeah. 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 So yeah. then uh, we have to huh? use yeah. 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 the one kilometer. Then we have to provide the forty. Yeah. 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 And create this gap at 25 millimeters. Then we do it again. If, I see if gap is more than 25? Then we have to insert another eight piece. Mm -hmm. Then we have to do two beds. Okay. No way. Uh, 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 what is the design gap? Design gap is 40 millimeters. Gap will change. After time temperature increase, the heat and gap will change. Only 25. So when we are doing, doing this lesson, we provide 40 minutes. Yeah. Can you search in place? Yeah. 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 ஆ <laughs> 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 Okay. 
In which temperature? Which temperature? The same previous. This has to be done at the previous temperature. Previous. Thank you. In this method, for the temperature backing has to be done at previous day. Previous day. Previous day temperature. No, no, not previous day. It has to be within the last year. Previous day. 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 Previous day.
minimum gap between the two welding points because uh, we uh, we are distressing oh. then we have to put 4 mm rails the minimum length 4 meter rails 4 meter length is that yes the rail we are going to insert back minimum length should be 4 meter when, when we have a uh, 4 meter rail to uh, put put back the to the rail yeah. then we uh, the cutting point have uh, the and uh, when we cut, cut the rail yes. the uh, we have to make a 25 mm gap and Reveal. Then, uh, then uh, other uh, not uh, then old uh, welding points have the nearest. Yes, that I know. So this four meter can be more than that. It will normally get more than four meter. If you don't, so two joints should not be <laughs> four meter. If if we don't have the in that time, if we don't have any rail to replace that, you we'll have to ensure that. Then we have to temporarily. Temporarily means you have to continue with the speed section. Then next day we have to change the. Next day you have to change. You can put the closer piece less than 4 meter, but that will be under the speed section, not the normal piece. Yes. கூடுதான் <laughs> 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 Yeah, 
So one method we have discussed to make the rail free at de-stressing temperature and allow expand and allow it to expand in contact and then put it down. Supposing we don't get de-stressing temperature, we want to de-stressing at a temperature. We don't get the temperature within the range of the displacement temperature. Then what do you do? <laughs> if the temperature is higher, if the prevalent temperature is more than 3D, we can't do anything. We can't cool the risk. There's no method to cool the, cool the risk. But if the prevalent temperature is less than, less than, you know, this is the heat temperature, then we can either heat or we can cool the rails. Two methods are available. Either we can heat the rail. The European countries where the temperature is uh, low, they heat the rails. But uh, in other countries, they do the distressing by cooling. So when the temperature is prevailing temperature is less than the stressing temperature, mm -hmm. so we pull the rails. <coughs> we pull the rails. So whatever extension required, we provide the extension extension required and passes back the rails and do the joint trailing. Do the welding of band. This is the method by which we can ensure that we do the make make this stress free at this specific temperature. So what we do? I will first simply explain that so this is the end of work in which we create a joint, we cut the rail here, Thorling. we put this rail on the rollers, rollers, and put the sensor here and pull the rails. Pull the rails to get the required extension. Say, we know that alpha and alpha T is the extension. So, if this length is say L, if this and the P, this is the prevailing temperature Td minus prevailing temperature is the T. Td here is higher than the prevailing temperature. So we get the extension film, we pull the rail so that ensure that this extension, this much extension is there. Measure from both the sides and cut the rails to provide the 35 millimeter gap. Then do the welder, do the welding. And then put back the fastening. This is the basic principle. Now we will go into details. So we do the de-stressing with the rail tension. 
tense. What tensor looks like is this. So these are the hydraulic cylinders. <coughs> two hydraulic cylinders for one rail. And these two are the wedges. As you pull, it grabs the ring. And these cylinders are driven by the hydraulic form. It can be with a generator or it can be hand operated. This is concrete shipper, eh? This one is one. It can be tracked, track, it does not make a Possible. We take them both the rest and Tensor means resistance is really hard. See, the Shooting over fast and fast. Yes, we have. When we are putting, applying this force, we have to move fast. Otherwise, extension will not take place. Those fast bits are done. Those are no fast bits. The fast bits are done. Which part of the wheels are pulling? Both sides. Both sides are pulling. Yeah. They can pull from both the sides. 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 They can pull so, so this machine can just supply the both ends. You can do one by one also. But better way is to do both from both sides together. Put the 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 both sides together. Uh, if you have to, you have to do, if only you have to do the, this this dressing, don't, don't do the fast here. So, you put from this side only. And measure the extension. Here, we can do this side, this side, also. that can be done. <laughs> Provided the gap, maybe they have got the extra gap. After they are moving fast pitch, they have got the extra gap. This might have contracted by the time. After they are making the cut, that might have worked. Rather side. Because the prevalent amount is less than the discussing. Because they are contracted. Okay. 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 So one side play maximum we do five hundred meters. And both side together maximum one one kilometer we can do. 
More than that, it is not manageable because the friction that comes to us, friction of the rollers, because every friction is added. So that is why friction becomes too high. So we tackle the length and length of five hundred. Say supposing this this length is five hundred. This length is five hundred. And we do the dis. We want to do the displacement. So there we require as the length. Anchor length is required to resist the pull. Somebody should be there to resist the pull. Reaction where will it be? So this is anchor length is the length of the track which is kept fastened. No fastening is to be removed from the anchor length. So this resists the pull. Whatever pull is applied, it is resisted by this. So on the both sides there is an anchor length. Okay, now I can Anchor length. So this is called A1, A2, C1, C2. A1, A2, and C1, C2 is the anchor length. So anchor length will be equal to A1, A2, C1, C2. 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 Equal to A1, A2, C1, C2.
500, then you will have more than 500, then you will have W5. Otherwise, if it is less than 500, then we will not have W5. So this we measure and provide this marker pillar. We can also provide on the eye of insert. Insert is there. Concrete sleeper insert is there on which we make the mark also. There also because sleeper we don't supposed to move. Otherwise we can put it a rail post and then from that effect we have to mess. Bangor provision is separate post, separate post, reference post. This we do, this measurement we do one day in advance. This measurement we do one day in advance. Remove impediments to free movement such as rain anchors, guard rail and check rail. Here also we have to remove the whatever things which are holding the movement that we have to remove. Cut the rails during the block clock. Cut the rail where the tensor is placed and move it sideways. So this is the tensor place, uh, tensor place. These are the rods of the tensor. And move these rails sideways. So allow it to expand and contract. So after some time when the pull is applied, the position will be this. This will be position, both are and then have been expanded, pulled. Marking we have already done. Yes, W1, W2, T A marking Yes. 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 Reference post, every 100 meter. Yeah. So it is posted there. Mm -hmm. Supposing we put outside, then this is outside, this is the post. This is the post. This is the post. This is the post. So these are the reference posts. Yeah. 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 So, during the block, we put the tensor here, we put the tensor, cut the rail, and push the tensor. Tensor we see, both sides we can put. We put the tensor here. Correct? So like this is the length. A1 is to here. And W0, W1, W3, W1, W3, like this. And cut here for installing the tensor. This we have discussed. Market to this we have already erected. Transfer the mark, this mark on the rail foot. 
this mark transfer this mark on the rail foot with the help of nylon cord transfer this mark on the rail foot see the rail is like this rail is like this here we will see mark This W one mark transfers the mark from the rail foot with the help of nylon cord or the perpendicular T. T is the with the help of T we put this transfer this on the rail. Both side here and the other side. Then we apply. Then we remove the fasteners. Remove the fasteners. Put it on the roller. From second to third. हम भी तो कह रहे थे हाँ हाँ हम एक किला रहे हैं मगर ऐसे हाँ इधर तो इधर तो कुछ मालूम नहीं तेरे को फ्रॉम सेंटर सुबंदे नाउ व्हेन द एंटायर रेल इज इन फास्टेड रिमूव्स एंड पुट इट ऑन द रोलर देन पुल द रेल्स अप्लाई द टेंशन And pull the rails. After there is a some movement at this W two W zero. There is some some movement. That release back. Release release the tension. And there will be some residual displacement at this place. W zero. So that release residual displacement is W Y zero. Note down that residual displacement. Rail is not entirely fixed. Some movement can be there. W zero where the entering starts. So we note down that zero as Y zero. Okay. सही जाइ को ना चाहिए वहाँ पे अपने इंडक। When prevailing temperature is less than design temperature, B zero, this testing is operation is carried out between A to B and B to C, C to B. In this portion and then this portion. So we apply tension. Now this. For curves, we talk about. So, these testing of all curves, we require side jump problems. For these testing on the curves, we require side support rollers. This is the this is the drawing of side support rollers, and this is the photograph of side support rollers, and this is how they have been applied. This is side support roller. This allows the longitudinal movement, but restrains the lateral movement. It will not allow the rail to come out of the nail seat. Shoulder is also thin, but shoulder is also broad. This is another photograph. This is how it is put on the slipper seat. And this is holding the rail. This roller is holding the rail. Otherwise, when you put in the curve, the rail will come out of the rail seat, and you will not be able to put it back. Do you agree? Do you agree with this? If you pull the rails without putting side support rollers, the rail will be pulled inside. 
So that is why we require side support rollers on the curve, both inside and outside. So rail is put inside part, inside of the curve and outside, on both the rails. Yes, we will cut that. This actor was provided depending upon the radius of the curve and the difference in temperature. So this is the radius of force multiplied by the number of sleepers per rail length. Rail length is considered 13. How many sleepers in that end? Say 20 sleepers and 30 km length. Right. So we put that divided by 50. And divided by T0 minus TP. That every other sleeper we have to put the side support in our Supposing the calculation looks like if the radius is 875 meter, curve radius, and the difference between the prevalent temperature and the displacing temperature is say 10, 10 degrees, number of sleepers per rail is 20, then at every 35 meter, uh, 35 sleepers we have to put side support over. 875 multiplied by 20 divided by 15 to 10. So we get 35, and every 35 meter we have to put side support roller inside of the curve. On both the rails. So the curvature is like this. So in both the rays, then we have to put here, put here, put here, put here, and we have 35 sleepers. Both sides. Hmm? Both sides. No, this is 35. Here you can do one, one and three. Say, you can put it on the outside, we can put say 105. So this we can put it here, and we third. So this every thread we can put outside. Inside every 35 centimeter, outside every third. Two you can leave. On both the ends. We are giving this to you. This is available in the corner. Thank <laughs> you. 
So next we do is this cap is penetrated already. So some pull is applied to remove this kink and uh, and minimize the friction. So back as we have mentioned that we have pulled and allowed some extension is required to leave. Then we get this rule displacement at W0. That is called W by zero. Here also we get Y0. This part is Y0. We wrote down by zero. Now we calculate the extensions required. At every 100 meters extension required we calculate. It depends upon the T0 minus TP. It will be equal to L alpha T0 minus TP. Extension required. In, case, in this case, between this distance is 100, alpha we know, and this difference, whatever the difference is, say 10 degree. So we can find out from this formula. There is a table given in the manual. So this is the table difference. So if the say length is 100, then the difference is 10. So we come here and we get 11. So 11 millimeter is the extension required in 100 meter for 10 degrees centigrade difference of the table. So for any length we can find out from this table. Okay, from this you can find out. So now at this stage, transfer the marks, the other marks. This W1 mark, we transfer onto this place. The blue blue mark on the rail, here also, all the marks we transfer onto the rail. Now we have calculated the, now we calculate the gap, extension required as W1 is equal to W0 plus elongation of length W0, W1. So in this length, whatever extension is required, so we measure it at this market. So extension at, at W1 will be equal to by zero plus extension required in length W1, W0, W1. So in our case, we have taken it 100, 100 meter in interval. So 100 plus the alpha multiplied by that cutting will give you. So in the example, we taken at 10 degrees difference. So we get the 11 millimeter. If we say, if we assume y zero to be say 2 millimeter, then extension will be required will be 2 plus 11 to 30. This is as I go example. You will have to find out in your skin. So what we do? We measure this. From the on the rail we measure from the side. On the towards the anchor side. 11 millimeters. So 13 millimeters. This is 13 millimeters. And put the mark on the rail. 
from one mark to another mark leads to another mark towards the extension required mark 30 millimeter. Okay, this you understood? First one understood or not? Huh? <laughs> So when we have put this on the roller, we put the tension, we apply tension and release so that there is some movement at W0. After release, there will be some residual work. After release, there will be extension. Then release, some will go back, there will be still some displacement. Some extension at this double zero, where we have started the displacing of this. So we note down this double one, double zero. Note down double zero. Now, for getting the extension at double one, we require double extension in this length plus this y zero plus this y zero. So, extension at W1 will be this Y0 plus extension required in W0, W1. In length W1, W0, W1. No, no. This length, W0, not that. This length, this one, this distance. 100. 100. So, multiply from for this 100 meter, we get the extension for 10 degrees a meter. So, it comes as 11 millimeter. So, this. So, put it 11 millimeter, so assume the blue meter, we get 30 millimeter. By 0 plus? 2 millimeter is assumed. So whatever you get at that time, you just have to add. <laughs> How do I that is two No, no, it can be anything. It can be zero also. It can be more than that. Depends upon the fastings. Fastings and dollars. More than that. It is not very different, it is just to compensate for the extension of this portion and then we apply it. When we apply it, we have to adjust for the expansion of that. Why is it the estimate of expansion? Extension of anchor. Okay? So we, we measure this and put a mark at 13 millimeter set. Extension required here. Okay. Correct. Extension required in W2 will be what? Extension between W0 and W1 plus extension on W1 and W2. So this is. 13 plus W1 W2 is also 100 millimeter, 100 meter. So this extension will also be relevant. So we get 24. Another it is 100, six, 11 again we have to add. Because length is now 200 meter. Extension will be 22 millimeter. Extension required will be 22 millimeter. Correct? Are you going to push it?
Uh, Similarly, we calculate for this W2, W2 will be expansion required between W1 and W2. 24. Then 24 plus 11 again will be 35. So here the group 2 will be marked as 35. For this point, W3, again it will be 11. Plus 11 again. 46. It will be 46. So this will be 46. Like that. And this one. The new 4 will be again 11 and 11. 57. It will be 57. So the extension we have to put it on the mark it on the rail away from the tensile. So when you pull, we have to ensure that these marks come in front of the reference mark. So that required extension has been achieved. Now we have completed the marking, we apply tension. Apply tension till this mark comes here. <coughs> so we no put it as, so this part we have put it behind that will come in front of this W1 mark. When that comes, when this comes here, we will remove the fast links in this portion and apply the put back the fast link. Remove the rollers, put back the fast link in 100 meter length. Correct? So this much the stressing has been completed. Now we will check at W2. Normally it should have achieved. Now we have adjust the tension. I will increase the tension or decrease the tension so that this mark comes here. Opposite. Opposite to W2. When this mark also comes at W2, then again we remove the fastenings, put back the fastenings, remove the rollers and put back the fastenings. Correct? Similarly, we have to, we check, here it should have come, but if, if we can, if it has not come, we again adjust the tension. And so that this mark is this mark comes here. Remove the fast, remove, remove the rollers, put back the passing. So this much this testing now has been completed. Now up to here, again check whether this mark is here or not. If not, again adjust the tensor. If it is comes, then remove the rollers and put back the passing. So this much this testing has completed. <coughs> now simultaneously this side also has to be completed. Another party should be on this side when we are doing like this. This side also it has to be done on both the rails. On both the rails. So four parties are needed. One this is left side, other, other is this side, this side. So four parties doing similar work. So when we have completed this, we will check the required extension here as we will achieve or not. Then, then what we will do? So this extension might have taken place. So we will cut this rail in such a way that we provide 25 minutes of that. And then we do the welding. When the tensor is in the applied position. After 30 minutes of pouring the metal, we can remove the tensor. Mm -hmm. Now our distressing is complete. So both rails have to be tackled together. Are you going to finish it? Yes. 
So here it is, you can get just one, one entire, in fact, entire railway can be distributed. Dist 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 In any kind of temperature, right? Hmm? And the temperature is a T M and the whole in the argument. But T M and the T M and the five day lane that you mean. In Malaysia, we have to, to de-stress that 30 degrees. No, it's a TN plus 5 degrees. In Malaysia, when we are, I was working, there we used to do 38 degrees. And then when we decided 38, no range. Not using Yes, using tension. Without tension, you get a range. You don't get one temperature. And that too is not accurate. That accurate is not accurate. How do you say that? Like, how do you say that? Real eating, it don't go. If the cold country is the rain. Then it's like that, no? Then it's like that. So, burners running on the rails. Gas burners. You can function on YouTube. De-stressing by heating. Then you can find a lot of video in it. Here also, with tensor also, you can find drop of the for the EDU. Okay.
Here working is the after you after you transfer after you transfer the uh, mark on the foot of the nail. After that, uh, the rest noting of the temperature is not required. Temperature noting is only when TP is to be noted. Then we put it on the roller and transfer the transfer the mark of the nail foot. Thereafter, TP is not to be noted. So what should be the TP? So TP is the temperature at which we transfer the mark on the rain foot. So there well, that, that is the prevalent temperature at which we transfer the mark on the rain foot. So that only doesn't matter what we are doing. The reference is only that point. Correct? If we are not able to do the batting in the same block, then we have to leave it like this. Next day we come. This measurement we keep. Then we have to measure the length x and the rail is at between 2 plus. Supposing, supposing we are not able to write in the same. Supposing this is the rail. And this is the tensile in the engaged position after you completed the, this extension part. Then you measure the length A, X. Sorry. Then from this end, you measure the length X. Put the paint mark here. Paint mark on the other side of the rail. Then, when the next time you remove the tension and put back the clamps, displayed and cap to allow the traffic. But for that, you have to cut the rail in such a way that is a small gap is there between two ends. We have put this mark already. Now, when we move back, we pro provide the class next day. Then we want to do the welding. Then the rail we are going to insert will be of the length minus x minus 50. The length will require we will close the rail will require to put the x minus 50. So we put this rail, do the first band without tensor, then put the tensor band, pull the rails, and ensure 25 mm gap. Pull in such a way that we get 25 mm gap, and then we do the last band, just like covered with the current. How do you want to X? F and G. Okay. That's what you want to see. I'm going to see that. I'm going to see that. I'm not going to see that. So these are the two ends of the red. And the tensor is in the applied position. So from this end, we measure towards this side X. This will be measure X. See anything? And put the paint mark. Paint mark on this here. So that measurement is nice to available. Next day when you come, 
you put this rail of less is equal to x minus 50. Do the first match without the answer, adjusting the gap, so providing the multiple answer in the gap, do the verdict. For the next gap, we have to apply the tensor. Pull the rails so that we get 25 in the gap here. And do the word in the applied position. Tensor in the engaged position. Allow it to cool for 30 minutes. Then remove the tensor. It took me more than four meters? Yes. It's a good word. But in the uh, second day, that uh, remains uh, extremely you have to achieve the gap by pulling the rail. It will be more than that because the prevailing temperature should be less than the T zone. We can do this only when the prevailing temperature is less than the stationary temperature. At that time, you will have you will get more gaps. So we will have to reduce the gap by pulling. Then we will get the temperature. So in this method, when we do, when we do the gap by when we do this method, we have to do we have to do equalization of this process. So when we have done this, we have now opened fully. We have opened the rail for 50 meters this side, 50 meters this side. So to equalize the stresses, we have to open this 125 meter from this side. Open the parking in 125 meter and tap the rail with the bottom rail mallet and again pull back the path. No cut is required on this line. For equalization of the stresses, no cut is required. This stresses will be equal in this portion. This has to be done when the prevailing temperature is less than the stress rate. So that rails are in tension. Okay. So this is how we do the equalization of stresses. And this procedure is to be repeated for other sections. You can continue doing this for other portions. Any kilometer. This method is any if you have to do 500 meter, you can do for 500 meter. After this, they have to remove that post. Yes, we can remove Yeah, we have to keep the next one. It is required from this to be proper body. Then there we also put it on the sleeper also, mark on the sleeper inside. Then it is not necessary to put the post. Yeah. We have got uh, a seat. Yes. Yes. Okay. 
Any question? I think you have appreciated or not? Huh? Which is the better method? And some of the better method, but supervision required is more. You require supervisor, so many supervisors, and four places we have to require technical to measure the gaps. And uh, carrying this real tensor is a it's a quite heavy. Four, four persons are required to lift that. Mm-hmm. And it can be dismantled. And again, mm-hmm. you can take it as the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. to fix the rail tensor to right? Any, no. any holes? No, nothing is required. Bench is there, bench. So when you pull, it's automatically just like uh, please, please press the anchor to your thing. If you pull, it automatically gets uh, stuck. Bench type of thing. Move the bench. 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 Move the Getting rail fracture using the Pardon? any tendon to ra- getting rail fractures du- uh, during the use you can using the rail tensor. No, like the in the normal rail panel, the tensile strength is o- acting all over the rail, but in the using ra- rail tensors, the only the edges acting the 
tensile strain. So that tensile will not be that much to cause a cause the fracture. Mm -hmm. Because at that time, the vertical portions are not there. Okay, Roots are not there. Okay. Only the tension is there. If fracture is still under this, there is a tension in the rail and there is a vertical load. Then it becomes yes. excessive tension. In this case, it will not matter. In any emergency, there will be any rail fracture during during using the rail tensor. Oh. We have to make uh, first. We have to we have to wedge that part uh, and again start doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then we have to again re yeah. redo the work. First, we are starting by cutting it. Right? Cutting. First, we are starting for cutting it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. First do all your markings and then in the block you cut. Cut and then for sign cutting on the owners. Or for cut and to the anchor, up to the anchor. What it comes like, I, I should. In this case, here they are overlapping. This is okay. So you have to cut the head. Okay. The thing, uh, yes. It more over the yes. one uh, one centimeter or one bit. Yeah. We can't cut can no. Cut, you can. Yeah, yeah. You can cut. Why just cut and cut? Then W zero two of the uh, uh, W five. Yes. We have pull that rail. Rail no. Yes. We pull the pull the rail from W zero to W five. Then. This gap always over all up in no. It will normally over that. Yeah. Normally it will over that. Then why did it uh, start uh, for uh, x plus minus 50? Yeah, it's just like. No, this, this we have to do. So suppose we can't do this working in this block. Block is not sufficient. Then what can we do? We have to pass it in. We have to pass the tail, we have to cut in such a way that there is a 6 millimeter gap is there. We align the rail back and put the clamp. Yeah. Okay. Put the clamp and the tensor is another the position. This is the plane. From there, this place, this place we have made the cut. From this place we have to make the angle, we have to measure it. What is the foul? Next day, you have to do rain. Yes. You have to not cover. That's why we cut 4 meters away from the Yes. Yes, you're right. So, this is to do the welding. This cut here, cut this rail here, cut this rail, provide 25 cm gap, and do the welding. We are not able to do this. Then, we make cut here. And measure, make a trade mark of measure distance x. So next time, that measurement remains there. So let the uh, rate output will be x plus and x minus 50. Yeah. Uh, see, any tolerance value to keep the maintain the 25 millimeter gap? One gear. Plus or minus one gear. Plus or minus one. 
Ya itu yang selalu tahu. Ya, kalau itu, kalau 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 mana sih orang yang kalau dah ada so, tapi ni ke, tapi ni ke kalau ada. Ada tak question? How many times we average value will it take this job to complete the complete this job? How many times? I think two and a half hours. How many times? How much time? Two and a half hours is required. What? Huh? Because we get the two and a half hours. To complete all the works, so uh, removing the fastenings and yes, yes. Four kilometers. Mm -hmm. Four parties are required, no? All these their own work. Moments. They moment. Moment. Yes. What, what about the manpower? Huh? What about the manpower? The time types. Uh, okay. Uh, number of uh, means. How many will be required? So drifting the rails, four persons. Rollers, one person, uh, one party. Rollers? Rollers, one person can get the same thing with this. Yes, yes, yes. Rain is lifted, 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 no, four persons will be like that. One with each party. Each party will comprise of this. So there will be about 60 persons. 60 persons to be required. For one kilometer more. But with the experience, they can cut down this. And plus, one running party. One welding party can do both the welds. And plus, one party from cutting the rails. With the discutter. So, all this will require 2 to 3 hours long. So, you have to when problem is time. Everywhere there is this problem. Here also this is the problem. You are given like time that we can't get ready. So we have to push ourselves. So we have we have to do the we have to be new the time back at the time time. So why in the job we can't do. Let's only have another train. Yes, yes. 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 My saying is that they can do whatever party is required, we don't compromise on the party. Because the party is required, next time it is going to fail. So again, we have to do this stuff, then there is no action. Excellent. Now, we have to do this stuff. 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 We also need to do it in the middle time. So then we have to do the train server. If you get the block in the night time, don't do with the normal day stressing is not possible because temperature will be on the road side. Yeah. Daytime we can't get the too much for hours. In 9.30, one in 9.30, and then we send in there. Office person are traveling. They can't. 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 They can't.